Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. Fellow countrymen and women, greetings. We would like to state our position as the Golden Party of Zambia in as far as the removal of DPP Lidia Tsun is concerned. Is that for us it is a sham. It is a sham and it is steeped in political treachery. And for us it puts a spotlight on those that are leading us, on the character they have those that are leading the nation currently politically on the character that they have, the treatment that they have subjected Madame Lilian Sione, where we have come down in a country, we have deteriorated that when Madame Lilian Sione was burying her father, her biological father, the JCC was sitting. That is the country that we have come to in this dispensation where the state can use peripheral matters and suspend someone and remove them from office and yet the matter of public interest has not been heard. The main players in the petitions that were presented before the JCC, seven of them, the main players that were mentioned including the Minister of Justice, the Solicitor General, the Attorney General, the principal private secretary to the president and the president themselves have never been subjected to an interrogation to ascertain as to why they led, uh, uh, they, 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 they entered into a deal of indemnity. There's never been. So for us, we see that Madame Lillian has been sacrificed on the altar of political expediency. This was a well calculated move by the executive to embarrass the the Director of Public Prosecutions. And it is very worrying, it is very disturbing and repugnant to say the least, that you can have the whole executive plan such a treacherous move against a bona fide office holder of a state institution. The magnitude of this treachery is alarming to the right-thinking Zambians. And for us, we call the entire process a sham. And we hope that the courts of law will be able to, to act independently and bring these matters to their logical conclusions as Madame Lillian has petitioned. I thank you.